Okay, so this is video number dos of the one series. And in this video, I wanna answer the question, how can I know if this person is the one? So this is for those of you who are dating and you're trying to figure it out. Hey, look at me. It's been like three years now. Oh. Um, I recently actually wrote a post on this. I think the word like anxious Andy or something is in the title. Um, I talk about anxious Andy and overanalyzing Opal and just different personality traits that may lend you to have a propensity of like really stressing over is this the one or not? Because I think as Christians we put such an emphasis on finding the one because we want to be in God's will, we want to do the right thing, we want to be obedient. Um, and sometimes it can add a stressor and if we're that personality type that your whole life you've been weighing all the pros and cons and it's hard for you to jump in then when you hear other people's stories of like i saw him from across the room and i that's a man's voice i saw her from across the room and i just knew she was the one for me or the first time i met him i just i just knew you know there's personality types that are like that and i do believe that the lord can reveal himself in different ways to different people but i just want to encourage those people who who may not know for sure if this is the one that you you, you may just have to make a decision based off of some, some things that you can know so what are those things that we can know what is what is god asking us to ask since he doesn't clearly say in the bible bill you're supposed to marry jill you know um, so I think scripture asks us to figure out like do we believe in who God is and who he says he is. So you and the person that you're with, you guys both believe those things. Um, do you both have an understanding of why in this covenant bond of marriage, um, you know, scripture talks about uh, being so careful with sex and our sexuality and um, you know, because I, I have a number of girls ask me, you know, my boyfriend, my fiance, um, they've, they've told me that they struggle with pornography like you know so should I should I not be with him anymore is he not the one for me and and I want to say to those people that those are things you need to you need to look at the whole context did you did you stumble upon them and were they had they been hiding upon hiding it or did they come to you and say man this is a struggle I'm getting help um, I don't want to be like this or are they the type of person that says look I do this it's natural this is what I do and they're totally disrespecting you as a woman like weigh those things and then from there decide if this is the person that you want to move forward and enter into a marriage with. Um, I think scripture also talks about giving thanks in all things. So, so the things in life that don't make sense, are you and the person that you're with, are you able to be thankful? And are you both um, submitting to authority on some level? Are you seeking wise counsel? You know, a good gauge is if, if people are like, um, I actually think you shouldn't marry this girl. Um, that would be something to listen to. But if people are going, no, this person's great, he or she is great, then you're free to make that decision. And I, I think some Christians just need to hear the word, relax, take a deep breath, you're gonna be okay. Um, and Because one of the reasons that I think that we ask this question of like, is this person the one for me, is because a lot of us have some control issues. Something I don't know anything about. <laughs> Um, but no, I, it's human nature to want to control, and we, we can't. We can't control what people are going to do to us. We can't control um, the brokenness of this world, but all we can do is be responsible for um, saying, Lord, am I I'm being as obedient as I can? Do I trust that your scriptures are good, that you're good? If something bad happens to me in the future, that you have the power to redeem that situation, that you won't let me go through anything that I can't handle, um, trust Christ for that. And trust as you move forward um, in making this decision of who you should be with, that you know your personality, you know how God designed you, and your story doesn't have to look exactly like everybody else's. If you didn't see this person across the room and know, or God didn't send you a lightning bolt, it doesn't mean that you're wrong doesn't mean that you're not making the right decision just relax and get some good people around you to help speak into your life about the decisions that you're making if you're living a life of obedience and then just know you're free you're free on the next ask joy joy reveals that she is way too easily entertained you're free cheesy bread you're free <laughs> that was my favorite commercial do you remember that little Caesars was giving away free cheesy bread and there was this little girl like in her front yard with a box of cheesy bread and she's like you're free Cheesy bread, you're free! <laughs> like free Willie. Uh, that was funny.